We all know President-elect Trump is all about tariffs. To me, the wor most beautiful word in the dictionary is tariff. If I run this country, if I'm going to be president of this country, I'm going to put a 100, 200, 2,000 percent tariff. They're not going to sell one car into the United States. You're going to pay a 100 percent tariff on everything you sell into the United States. And we love your product. I hope you sell a lot of it into the United States. But you're going to pay 100 percent tariff. 10, 20, 60, 100, 2,000 percent. He's thrown around a lot of numbers, but I'm sure the only number you care about is, how much is it going to cost me? Well, this is a deep dive video, so buckle up if you have time to watch it now or favorite it and come back to it when you have a few minutes. I say buckle up because the retailers and tax experts in this country have estimated that these proposed Trump tariffs could cost you and me as much as $7,600 more per household per year, and as little as about $1,900 per household per year. And I'm gonna show you the numbers in a second, but first, let me back up. You need to understand, yes, Trump can legally impose these tariffs. And no, there's nothing to indicate that he's kidding about any of these numbers. In Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution, it says Congress shall have the power to lay and collect taxes, duties, to regulate commerce with foreign nations. That includes tariffs. Tariffs were a part of our country's founding. Now, while it is Congress's constitutional power, Congress can and has for decades delegated that power to the president. A tariff is a tax imposed by the government on imported or exported goods. Tariffs can be used as a revenue source for the country that's issuing the tariff, but tariffs can also be used to penalize foreign countries for a whole host of reasons. Tariffs have been used by the United States on goods coming into this country from other countries, and other countries have absolutely slapped tariffs on U.S. goods going into their countries. And that's been happening forever. That means, though, we have a lot of data on tariffs. And here's what we know for sure. A tariff is generally not paid for by the country that is supplying the imported good. The tariff is paid for by the importer of that good. That means the person or company in the United States that collects the foreign import pays the tariff to the Customs and Border Protection. And generally, those U.S. companies then just turn around and jack the price up of that imported good to sell it to you. So in the end, generally, you're the one paying for that tariff, not China, not Mexico. Now, the talking point to support tariffs is by imposing a tariff, it will make imported goods so expensive that American companies and retailers will choose not to import and instead will bring manufacturing back to U.S. soil and make the products here in America, creating more jobs. But the reality is, while that may have worked in the early 1900s, there's no recent evidence that proves that American companies these days, in mass are gonna do that. And in the end, it's probably gonna be easier and cheaper for those American companies to just import the cheaper product from abroad, pay the excessive tariff, and just charge you more. Now, I can go deeper into the research that proves all of that, but that's a whole separate video. In this video, I wanna focus on what the studies are showing that these new proposed Trump tariffs are gonna cost all of us. So the fact is, all presidents have imposed tariffs on other countries. This is not new. But what is new is the fact that Trump wants these huge unilateral tariffs. No one can tell you for sure exactly what these Trump tariff policies will mean for your wallet simply because he's not in office yet and he has not been officially able to impose these tariffs. But we can look at Trump's history in office and we can look at the recent studies that have been done about these Trump tariff proposals by economists and by U.S. retailers. So the National Retail Federation, which represents all the retailers in the United States, issued this report just last week, which used consumer items that appear in most American homes, apparel, toys, furniture, household appliances, footwear, and travel goods. This report took those things and looked at two proposed Trump tariff scenarios that he has discussed publicly. Scenario one is a universal tariff of 10% on all imported goods to the United States from all countries, plus an additional 60% tariff on imports from China. And scenario two includes a 20% universal tariff on all imported goods from all countries, plus an additional 100% tariff on all imports from China. Yes, 
These are all real numbers that the president-elect has talked about. Now here's the chart of the percentage increase if those tariffs are imposed. The light gray is the current tariff placed on each of those items. The black bar indicates how much that tariff would increase under scenario one of the Trump tariff proposal. And the red bar indicates how much that tariff would increase under scenario two of the Trump tariff proposal. And the National Retail Federation estimates for just these items that will cost consumers between $46 billion and more than $77 billion. That breaks down to between $362 and $624 more per household per year. And that's just for those items, which only account for about 7% of the total goods that we buy, consume, and use that may be subject to these tariffs. But maybe that's too abstract for you. So let me make it more understandable. Let's look at apparel. For example, the report found under the Trump tariff scenario, either one or two, a pair of men's jeans would go from 80 bucks to between 90 and $96. Women's cotton sweaters would jump from 50 bucks to between 56 and $60. After the tariffs are imposed, a couch that costs $1,500 now, why don't you add between $96 and $143? Now, footwear in particular, according to the Retail Federation, would increase significantly. A pair of athletic shoes that cost $90 now would cost between $106 and $116. Now, for some of you, those increases may not be a big deal, but it certainly would be a big deal for lots of other Americans who are already struggling. Now, I'm not telling you any of this to scare you, but I do want you to be fully aware of what these tariffs could mean for your wallet. I also want to throw in there that these tariffs could also increase inflation again and could decrease the American GDP, but that's a whole nother story. Of course, as I said at the beginning of this video, all of these numbers are estimates. How much things are going to cost, if they're going to change at all, will all depend on how much and how far Trump wants to go with these tariffs once he takes office. In his first term, Trump absolutely used his presidential authority to increase tariffs, and President Biden has also exercised the same tariff power. But neither of those examples are to the level that Trump is talking about now. And if you think these new extremely high Trump tariffs are going to bring in lots of revenue to the United States, According to the Congressional Budget Office, over the last 70 years, tariffs have never accounted for more than 2% of the total federal revenue. Listen, tariffs absolutely have a real function and they can help, especially when it comes to deceptive trade practices between countries or saving American industries. But it's a balancing act. On one side, the president has to weigh how much does he want to punish these foreign countries and tariff their imports and use those tariffs as trade leverage. And on the other side, how much does he want to financially impact the American public with these increased prices? Because let's face it, Americans aren't going to stop buying stuff. We have an overconsumption problem in this country and prices are high right now. But the numbers prove we're still spending. So if you've made it this far, good job. Let me know that you were here by dropping a money emoji in the comment section. And if you want to read this report from the National Retail Federation about Trump's tariff proposals, I'm going to email it out to you in my next News Girl News Roundup email. So make sure you sign yourself up.